Hey guys, ZeroTex00 here and today we are gonna test the MCSoft anti-malware versus the MEMS Trojan. So without any further ado, let's get straight into our first test. Also this video is sponsored by Private VPN, more of that in a minute. Ok guys, so the first test is gonna be with all the protections activated. As we can see we have the file guard protection which is most probably the main one, the behavior blocker which is the second protection. With all these protections on, let's run the MEMS Trojan in 3, 2, and one. And as we as can see, the MCSoft anti malware has detected and stopped the MEMS Trojan from running in background, which is very cool, as we can see here as well. So, with that, guys, let's move on into the second test. Okay, guys, so the second test is gonna be with the behavior blocker protection off, as well with the anti ransomware protection off. I don't know why this one got deactivated, honestly, I'm a bit confused. Maybe, maybe the anti ransomware protection most probably takes part with the behavior blocker protection that's why it probably got deactivated when I deactivated the secondary protection which is this one but anyways guys without any further ado let's run the MEMS Trojan again but this time with the behavior blocker protection off aka the secondary protection of MCSoft anti-malware in 3, 2 and 1 and as we guys can see it got detected and stopped once again by the MCSoft anti-malware. We can also see the notification here as well. So with that guys, as you guys usually know the drill, let's get further into a third test. Ok guys, so the third test this time around is gonna be with the fire guard protection off aka the main protection of this anti-malware off as we can see here. Well guys, let's hope that the system is gonna survive and the MCSoft anti-malware will still do a great job. With that guys, let's hope for the best and let's run once again the MEMS Trojan. Before we get any further though, let's talk about today's sponsor, Privado VPN. What is Privado VPN? At its core, Privado VPN is a virtual private network designed to keep your online activities private and secure. Whether you're streaming, shopping or just browsing, Privado VPN encrypts your data, ensuring that your personal information stays safe from hackers and prying eyes. But it's not just about privacy, Privado VPN also offers a way to access content from around the world. Ever been blocked from watching a show or accessing websites because of where you're located? With Privado VPN, you can bypass those geographic restrictions by connecting to one of their global servers, giving you access to your favorite content no matter where you are. And if that wasn't enough, Privado VPN is also rolling out their new antivirus Sentry service. This is a powerful tool designed to keep your devices safe from malware, viruses and other online threats. So, not only are you securing your connection with the VPN, but you are also protecting your device with top-notch antivirus software. Now, one of the things I really appreciate about Privado VPN is how user-friendly it is. The interface is clean simple and easy to navigate. Even if you are not tech savvy, you'll find it super easy to connect to a server, activate a VPN or set up your antivirus protection with just a few clicks. And here's the best part, Privado VPN offers all of this at a very affordable price. In a world where online security can often feel expensive, Privado VPN provides premium services without breaking the bank. You are getting top tier privacy and security features at a price that's really accessible. So, if you are serious about protecting your online privacy, keeping your devices secure and doing it all with an easy to use interface, I highly recommend checking out Privado VPN and their antivirus sentry service. Click the link in the description below to learn more and get started today. That's it for our quick break, thanks for sticking with me and a huge shout out to Privado VPN for partnering with us on this. Now let's get back to the video. In 3, 2 and 1. And ok, there goes our hopes as we can see. There we go, there we go, as we guys can see the system got infected unfortunately. I did expect this, I mean, it does make common sense unfortunately for this to happen. I'm gonna try to reactivate the, the main protection even though there is no point in doing it. I'm gonna reactivate the, the main protection as you guys have seen, I reactivated it, the file guard protection. Now, let's do a quick scan as well and hope for the best. Well, as we as can see, the MEMS Trojan did get detected here. It's just a .exe file though, so that's a bit disappointing. I guess we are gonna delete it. Yeah, 
yeah deleted please i would really appreciate that there we go it says that we need to restart the system and that's yeah there we go now the system is restarting that's most probably yeah there we go guys we got a blue screen of that and the system is most probably done i mean destroyed deleted how you guys wanna take it in it's basically destroyed uh there we go the system is restarting but most probably it's dead and there we go it booted in the bios i mean boot manager so there we go guys the system is destroyed as a conclusion the mc soft anti malware is decent it's an okay antivirus it's not bad but you shouldn't deactivate its main protection or any of its protections of that matter because obviously an antivirus needs all its protections on if you don't want to get infected that's all keep your antivirus protections on stay safe from dangerous websites and that's it thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys with new videos in the future bye bye